Have your car across so nobody can come and keep it a hard closure. You need a car blocking it though for their safety crap. <laughs> Jesus. 
Global Cleveland will be hosting its inaugural Welcoming Week, September 13th through the 20th throughout the city of Cleveland. President of Global Cleveland, Joe Simperman, shares the exciting details. We're really excited, and we're really excited uh, with Mayor Jackson's leadership and the leadership of Cleveland City Council uh, to basically offer seven days of letting people know in Northeast Ohio the importance not only of immigrants in our community, but the importance of people who came here from all over the world and make Cleveland the greatest city in the nation. Uh, we have a few events coming up that we're really excited about. Uh, the one that's going to be really big is the prayer service that we're having with the United Church of Christ. A lot of people know that the United Church of Christ's global headquarters are in downtown Cleveland on East 7th and Prospect. What a lot of people don't know is that they touch 94 different nations. And so on Monday, uh, as the week is beginning, we're going to have a really wonderful interfaith prayer service at the United Church of Christ Chapel. And everyone is welcome to come to that. Lunch is provided. And it's something where we want people to know uh, that Cleveland is not just a welcoming place, but you can be who you are here and in, in, in worship whoever uh, you want to in whatever faith that you belong to. The second event that I'm really excited about, and it's with the leadership of the mayor and with Director Felton Thomas at the Cleveland Public Library is a book signing. It's a free event with a gentleman by the name of Kaiser Khan. Uh, Kaiser Khan is an immigrant from Pakistan. He's a United States citizen. He is a constitutional lawyer. He's considered an expert. And he's just written his second book on the Constitution in terms of the law and, and how it's applied. He's also someone who is a gold star father. He lost his son in uh, Afghanistan as a Marine. And he's somebody who, as a Pakistani um, immigrant, 
immigrant, United States citizen, and somebody who's Muslim, we think exemplifies what's great about our community. And we also think it's really neat because the day that he's speaking at the library for free in the evening, uh, the Tuesday of Welcoming Week, um, it's also Constitution Day across the United States. So it's a really fitting way for, for people to celebrate that. The other event that we're really excited about is the passport party that we're doing at Market Garden uh, Brewery that same night. And that night, if you bring your passport to Market Garden, um, you not only get to meet other people who travel, we'll also have U.S. passport applications there. Um, about 30% of the United States uh, citizens have a passport. We want to bump that number up, at least in Cleveland. And whoever comes with a passport with the furthest stamp wins a free Vitamix. Um, we're really excited by that. And then finally, um, to highlight a community that's outside the city of Cleveland, but is a sister uh, community in Cuyahoga County. We're having a naturalization ceremony in Solon on Friday at the uh, County Public Library uh, because we want to highlight the fact that over 30% of Solon's population is foreign born. And so here you have a wonderful community uh, that is um, uh, racially and ethnically and culturally diverse. It's got great school system, it's got great communities, and yet one out of every three people who live in Solon was born outside the United States. We we think that tells a story about how important newcomers are to our community. And so whether you're going to be at the library or at the passport party or enjoying a prayer service, um, so many of these events are free and open to the public. And we want people in Cleveland to be able to experience them and enjoy them. When you think about it, um, the way that our city uh, was formed, and when you think about the fact that um, you know, any given day when you're at City Hall in the Rotunda, there's a different cultural group celebrating something, whether it's um, uh, Latino Heritage Month, whether it's Asian uh, Heritage Month, whether we're doing something with the Albanian community or the Somali community. And it's really something that I think the mayor um, has led the way in terms of opening up City Hall. And the thing that I love about it most is that it's, it's not a, um, a sense of we have to bring something to Cleveland that isn't here. It's already right here. And the beauty the beauty of it is that really what this week does is it shows the people who have already come. It shows how important immigrants are. And we will join now 40 other major American cities that are doing Welcoming Week at the same time. And this is really the first week that we've ever done this organized in this way. And we're excited because we think that every single day it highlights a different aspect of our community. Um, some of the fun stuff, um, we've got a Spotify channel that's coming out on Monday. Uh, that's obviously free if you're on Spotify. Um, phenomenal people like Homa Bash are contributing some of their uh, dance uh, music to that. And you know what gets people going in the morning, we've got people who were born all over the United States and really all over the world who are contributing to it. It's, it's music that's really about the immigrant experience um, to things that we're doing where, you know, on Sunday at the Art Museum, partnering with them, uh, you'll be able to download an app that takes you on a tour through the Art Museum of art that is up, that is done by immigrants who've come to the United States. Um, really what we're showing is that there's an incredible community already here and we just have to be aware of it. And what we'd like to do at Global Cleveland is make that community even bigger and welcome even more people to this great city. We're a city of love, that we're a city that says we want you here, um, that we're a city that knows that it's hard to come from somewhere else and that we want you to feel home. Um, you know, there's so much stuff that's happening now nationally uh, that's kind of the opposite of the spirit of Cleveland. Um, you know, Cleveland is a place that has always been home to the refugee, the person who is fleeing war or oppression, religious or cultural. Um, you know, our steel mills, our auto factories, our neighborhoods were formed by people who were running from something. But what the city of Cleveland has become and what I think Mayor Jackson wants all of us to know and the council president and city council is that it's not just what you're running from, but we want you to run to. And what you're running to when you come to Cleveland is a place that will embrace you, where you'll get a job, where you can get a great education, you can have an incredible quality of life. And if Welcoming Week achieves that, then I think that we'll, we will be on our way to our goal of making Cleveland an even more welcoming city. For more information and a list of events, visit globalcleveland.org.